What's going on guys? So I've got something a little bit different for you today. I am a full-time NHL content creator. Nothing's changing there. It's August. The game's pretty dead. And until I have something to report on for NHL 20, the content is struggling on the YouTube side. My daily streams are still there. But regardless of that, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a series regarding the Madden franchise because I have been absolutely in love with this year's franchise mode for Madden. I've played it for years, but this year, for whatever reason, I've just been obsessed with it. And I've been having a blast, and I thought I would make a rebuild series and uh, see what you guys think. So today, I'm going to be starting my Buffalo Bills rebuild. I'm a dire Patriots fan, but... Uh, I do live very close to Buffalo, I'm about 20, 30 minutes away from um, from New Era Field. So <clears throat> that being said, I've followed the Bills closely my entire life. So what I'm going to do is basically just be the owner. Um, I'm going to fast forward all that here, and we're going to jump in um, into the preseason in a second. But basically, I'm just uh, an owner. It's a full sim. The only games we're going to play or only time we're actually going to touch the field is if there's a breakout chance because I find that in the sim, you need all the help you can get when you're doing a rebuild. And if there is a breakout performance chance, I want to get it. So we are going to hop into our episode one, the preseason of our Buffalo Bills rebuild, guys. I'm No Sleeves 12. Let's jump into it. So guys, we are going to uh, first start the first week of the preseason off by doing some practice drills just to make sure we get gold medals in each. So I've just finished it there. That way you guys don't have to sit through it. You only have to really do this a few times. The great thing about this is once you do them, as long you can do these every week, these drills, you're going to get this XP extra, and you can just sim it every week, but you're going to get these results every time, which is fantastic. Um, the CPU can also like auto-do auto, auto do it for you, but I didn't really trust it. I was doing uh, my Dolphins run and whatnot earlier, and I didn't really trust it at all. So I just did a few drills, and that way every week I can train. Um, what I picked here was my quarterback and wide receivers and my defensive line and linebackers on defense so every week we're gonna get that and then you see the upgraded players right away so after doing that practice Matt Milano has an upgrade here we are gonna keep him and he fits our scheme well so we're gonna give him an upgrade here he's now a 78 which is good and I think he's gonna be part of our future I did cut our roster down quite a bit so I cut about 12 guys I'll show you what we're working with here as far as each position goes so at quarterback, we've got Josh Allen and Tyree Jackson. That's what we're going to work with. Josh Allen's only 74. We're going to see if we can't turn him into something. Uh, at running back, we've got LaShawn McCoy, Frank Gore, Yeldon, and Singletary. we got to move on from Gore and McCoy, so I put them on the trade block. Hopefully we get something for them. I doubt it. Um, but if we have to just, you know, force them for a six-rounder, I don't care. We need something for them because their contracts are up this year. Uh, wide receiver, we got Beasley and John Brown. Put them on the trade block as well. They're almost 30. Well, Beasley is 30. We want to get rid of them for something. Zay Jones is going to be part of our future, as is Robert Foster, Isaiah McKenzie, Andre Roberts I'd love to get rid of, but he's 31, 70 overall. But the penalty to get rid of him is 2.6 mil. So we're going to have to just wait for his contract to end. Uh, Ray McLeod and Victor Bolden we might cut as well. At tight end, we're actually pretty good. We've got Tyler Croft, 26 years old. And I believe he is a star developer, so... See if we can't be part of our future. Lee Smith, 75 overall, 31, but 4 mil to cut. Uh, we got to put him on the trade block for sure. Uh, we've got also Dawson Knox there lurking. He's the rookie this year. See if we can't turn him into something. Um, he would need a development upgrade to, to, you know, to get kind of a big jump. Uh, nothing really crazy in the offensive line. This is where the Bills struggle for sure. A lot of under 80s. Mitch Morse is the only one over 80, I believe. And uh, it's going to be ugly. So, uh, yeah, Josh Allen's got to hope and pray. Um, on the defensive line, we've got Shaq Lawson, who I love, along with Trent Murphy. That's pretty good. Shaq Lawson's definitely part of our future. <laughs> Jerry Hughes is an 83 overall, 23.3 million um, to penalty. So we're going to have to add him to the trade block, see if we can't get anything for him as well. On the defensive line, we got the rookie Ed Oliver Jr., He's going to be our basically our backbone of our defense for the next, you know, however many years we do the sim. Harrison Phillips also already pretty good, 74 overall at 23 years old. And then a couple guys we might have to cut. Matt Milano just got an upgrade, so he's now a 78 overall. The uh, Harold middle linebacker, Tremaine Edwards, he's going to be part of our future. See if we can't upgrade him as well. And then we've got Lorenzo Alexander, who I already added to the trade block. 
at corner. The Bills always have a decent um, <clears throat> season, always have decent corners. Got Trey Davis White, going to be part of a future for a while. Levi Wallace, same thing. Teron Johnson and Kevin Johnson, both very young. Well, Kevin Johnson is 27, Teron Johnson is 23, so he's going to be part of our future for sure. Um, we might cut one of these guys, but I like kind of having a really good, you know, backfield um, as far as defensive backs. Then we got Micah Hyde, who's been around for a while. Love Micah Hyde. Don't want to get rid of him, obviously. He's only 28. And then we've got Jordan Poyer. Same thing. Kind of want to keep him for a little bit. Might get rid of Raphael Bush. Um, <clears throat> actually, we'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll save quite a bit of money here. Save away at 1.4 million. So we will get rid of him. And then uh, as far as kickers go, Hoshka and um, Bjorkes. Uh, he's uh, rough. But anyway, we still have some um, some cuts to make. But the schemes that we're running, schemes are pretty important for developing guys. If you look here, the percentage of the fit, um, basically, you'll get bonus XP um, every time you do training if they fit the scheme. So it helps. Um, I want to develop. <clears throat> excuse me. I want to develop Josh Allen to a strong arm. There's actually a better scheme fit, which is this West Coast spread. But as you see here, you'd have to um, upgrade him to be or turn him into a scrambler. And I find that he doesn't really run a lot. I've looked at his you know, um, his in other Sims, and he doesn't run at all, so, especially in the Sims, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do the vertical zone, or do where we are here, vertical zone run, and uh, just see if we can't get some agile guards and, <clears throat> excuse me, blockers. That's the only thing really holding this back. On defense, the 4-6, we basically have all the guys in place for that, so that's going to work quite well. First things first, though, the Bills need a new stadium. Like I said, I'm from here, and my God, does it need to be rebuilt. So we are going to restart the building process right there. That's got to happen for sure. As far as everything else, don't really have to worry about that right now. It's still the preseason. So let's go ahead and advance the week and uh, see if we can get any upgrades, maybe. We do get a few upgrades. Let's see what we got. Cole Beasley. Well, we are trying to trade him. So let's do this. Let's make him go up one more. See if we can't add to his trade value a little bit, huh? That might be the play here. So let's see if we got any offers. Oh, great. We got an injury already. And it is to Ladrian Waddle. That's not really anything that we are concerned with. So I'm okay with that. Lorenzo Alexander. Let's take a look at the offer here. Third, five, seven, four, seven, two. A second rounder next year and a six and seventh this year. Again, we definitely want to have a lot of picks this year because we're going to use the um, the authentic draft that is on the um, draft share um, community board. It's going to have all the real guys like Tua Tungvaluwa and all those guys, so um, we are going to be using that. So I do want a couple picks this year uh, to see if we can't get some real-life studs, kind of make it a little bit more authentic. We are going to take that second rounder next year for Lorenzo Alexander. Maybe we can flip it into a second this year. Uh, what else do we got here? We got a trade offer for Beasley. Let's see what we got. But this is in regard to him being an 83 overall. Uh, we got three. Another second rounder next year. Uh, another second rounder. That looks to be it. Let's wait and see because he is an 84 now. So let's go decline those offers. Uh, what else do we get here? Hughes. Let's see what Hughes got. Uh, third, another second rounder next year. Man, they really want to offer a first rounder next year from the Patriots. He's probably going to add be an absolute monster if the Patriots are offering anything. Yeah, a first round pick, even if it is next year, we're going to go with that. Yeah, absolutely. Stocking up on picks is key for this rebuild. So we are going to do... So yeah, so what I want to talk about, or what I was mentioning before. So see how I've selected these three guys, okay, as my, you know, extra focus player. But the offensive game plan, if you go down here, we did the deep pass flood, okay, last week, and it, position groups that it focused on quarterback and wide receiver. Obviously, we need Josh Allen to get all the help he can get, and our wide receivers are definitely going to need some help because Jay Jones is really the only decent one once we get rid of Beasley and hopefully get rid of John Brown. On the defensive side, we're working on the defensive line and linebackers, so we go right here. It's going to get the max. You go to start training, sim, sim, and bam, it's done it all for you like you did it last, like you did it, um, you know, if you were to play it again. So that is definitely the way to do it. Um, we're going to hope that, I'm assuming Ed Oliver is going to be at least a superstar because, uh, well, he's a beast in real life. So these are all the guys that got extra points. 
Let's see what we got here. Any upgrades? We did get upgrades. And see, you get the upgrades immediately. When you make it man or when you make it auto, you don't get them automatically. You get them after the week. But I don't trust it. I just, I don't, you don't see it. So I, I don't know. I don't trust it. So Tremaine Edwards does fit the scheme. We are going to go. Oh, here's the thing, though. Do we need him to play? Hmm. All right. We're going to put him. Yeah. We'll go run stopper. Ups is overall ready to a 75 for the scene set. Harrison Phillips, again, another young guy for our defensive line. He's going to go up to a 75. And Ray Ray McLeod, I might put, I'm thinking we're going to put on the practice squad. So we'll make him at least a deep threat to fit the scheme to get the bonus points if we do keep him on the team here. And we'll go. So trade accepted. Yeah. And now we'll go to advance the week. And a big win already, so let's go to next week. Let's see what happens. Great players. And we've got po our punter is rough, I'm not going to lie. But, hey, we'll just see if we can't power through here. Maybe we'll have to pick one up in the draft or free agency next season because, yeah, he's in. Uh, he's rough. Let's see what Beasley gets offered. Again, he's an 84 overall now. 3-3. Three, three. Three, two next year. Same kind of thing. Two and a six. Again, these are all for next year. Two, five, seven. Three, six, six. Yeah. Two, five, seven. Five and seven this year. That might be the play here. That might be the play here. Two, five, seven to Philadelphia. Hmm. Do we wait and see? No, let's go ahead and make... We'll pull We'll pull the plug here. All right, so there's another guy gone for us. And we got an offer for Lee Smith Perfect, because, again, that was four mil to cut him, and uh, just a slew of picks again. Again, these are all for next year, but we're going to see if we can't flip these for this year, and that way we can get some actual real-life, you know, decent players. Now, we're at 57. Let's take a look at the depth chart here now. we got to change some things up. Um, nothing there. Halfback. We really got to get rid of LaShawn McCoy. I'd love to do it earlier than later, but we'll see. So, we don't want John Brown as our number one wideout. In fact, I kind of want to make him just push him all the way down here and see if we can't get uh, Robert Foster some help. See if we can't get him to upgrade and get some extra XP. Croft. Kroom. Do we keep Kroom here? Hmm, we'll see. Might have to put these, some of these guys on the practice squad, like I said. Uh, Ladrian Waddle, I believe, was he? He's hurt. Okay, what else we got? Left guard. Uh, Quentin Spain, Mitch Morse, Teller. Hmm. So we did get rid of Jones, so maybe we move... What about defensive tackle here? Because we've got Luda Laley and Harrison Phillips. I wonder what's Harrison Phillips on the right end here. What's he at? A 72? Oof. Hmm. Oh, we'll move Trent Murphy over for sure. That's what we'll do. Yeah. So, we're not taking much of a hit, guys, here. We're going to move Trent Murphy over. And then defensive tackle, that's going to stay the same. Linebacker, Milano is on the left. Middle linebacker, we got Tremaine Edwards. And then our right linebacker is where we need a lot of help. But we'll go with uh, Eli Harold. Yeah, we'll move Harold over here. We'll put him at starting right outside linebacker. And then corners, yeah, that all stays the same. All right, perfect. So that works. So, we'll see. Again, so, yeah, we're going to do our training real quick for this week and see if we can. not I mean, I would love an upgrade to Josh Allen. Like, those are the ones we're waiting for, but he's only a star. Like, it depends on how bad we do, boys. Like, I mean, I would love Tua. That would be fantastic. If we could get Tua, maybe we can move on from Josh Allen. I just, I don't know. We'll see, though. I don't think this team is going to be that bad. I still think, with even with getting rid of everything, I think the defense is pretty good still. Got some upgrades already. And Oliver, perfect. He's going to be an 80 going into the season and already looking good. Perfect. So, yeah. He is a hidden potential. Man, I really hope he's an X-Factor. I have a feeling he won't be. 
Victor Bolden Jr. We'll upgrade him to a 64. We'll on practice squad. We'll find out quick here, chat. Dun, 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 dun. Trade accepted, trade accepted, trade accepted. So let's play the week. And we're moving on to the next one. All right, so we got to cut four, but another win, chat. Upgrade. Who do we got to upgrade? Josh Allen gets an upgrade. Thank God. All right, we're going to upgrade his arm again. 75. It's a scheme. Practice squad eligible. Let's throw him on the practice squad. It'd be great if he got one of the breakout moments. All right, Robert Foster. See, we already put him in at wide receiver two. One first game in the preseason, and he's already up to 73. Perfect. And then the last one is Vladimir Dacos. Uh, do I want to just upgrade his overall? Nah, we'll try and see if we can't get him a scheme build. I just no point, really. Like I said, so the guy, if they fit your scheme, guys, they will get more weekly XP points. It's something that you want to pay attention to if you can. And Harrison Phillips out three weeks. That's not good. That's a starting defensive tackle for us. But Star Luda Lately can fill in in the meantime. So let's get rid of the next four, four guys. Let's see what we got here. Daryl Johnson Jr., Victor Bolden, Tommy Sweeney, Ray McClellan. How many wide receivers do we have? Let's take a look. If we're not. We're keeping John Brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd only. I only really want five. Hmm. We'll move him to the practice squad. Keep him there. Halfback wise, kind of want to put Singletary. Oh man, we gotta get rid. We have to get rid of Sean McCoy. Uh, as far as TEs go, I'm kind of thinking about. Hmm. Jason Kroom, 73 overall. Does Dawson Knox get put on the edge here? Let's put him on practice squad. And then we can. Yeah. We'll cut. It's negative 20 in cap space. That's not going to work. Hmm. We'll leave him. Two mil if we say we get rid of Vladimir Klaus to cast. Yeah, let's do that. We are going to do that for sure. Spencer Long. How much we save him? 2.74 million? Yeah, that's the play. All right, so now we're down to 53. Last preseason game. Let's do coach goals. What do we got? Do we have anything to spend? Nope. Okay. We really want to get some, at least the QB XP one. Make sure our auto subs. QB, I want this all the way up. I've noticed that sometimes if you leave this as default, that like if you have like a scrambling quarterback backup, which we do, sometimes he'll come in, and it just kind of ruins how you play. Don't really want any of that. So, all right. Oops, I'll save that. Okay. And with weekly training, hope we can get some more upgrades. There we go. Deep pass flood. We're going to work on our these guys all year long. Hope we can get a running back in the draft. Yeah, it's, we're going to have to focus a lot on playmakers in the draft. So I would love a wide receiver, maybe two. To go with Zay Jones, um, any offensive linemen that are have decent for sure, because our offensive line is just garbage. And then if we can get Tua, if we get that first overall pick, I might take Tua. And then um, obviously running back is really rough. We got some more upgrades here. Zay Jones with an upgrade, love it. All right, uh, we're gonna have to do some work to make him a physical. Pick. Okay, that's fine. One away, make him an 80 next time, and then he'll fit the scheme, get even more XP. Eddie Yarborough, we'll make him a 70 overall already, like that. And there we go, love that. And then Corey Thompson, right outside linebacker, boom. And like I said, guys, we're only going to play if a player gets a breakout moment. We need to do those. We need to get some help here. And there aren't too many in a season, um, but uh, they are definitely important, especially when you're in a rebuild. you got to take advantage of them. And they're cool. Like It's a cool new addition, so... All right, training's complete, and we're going to advance to the regular season. And let's see what we got here. Get an upgrade done. Wyatt Seller. Oof. Well, it's going to take a few to get up there. I know we're not boosting his overall rating, like his actual overall rating, but again, it is very important to make him there. Tyree Jackson gets an upgrade. Please tell me that there isn't an injury to... 
We're just gonna get his strong arm above his scramble and then focus on scrambling, because um, I just want him to get a scheme fit there. Okay, no one's hurt. All right. So here's the team going into the regular season. Again, we're going to try all throughout the year to get rid of LaShawn McCoy and Frank Gore for anything, really. Any picks, I don't care. Zay Jones going to be number one wide receiver with Robert Foster is the number two. And we, John Brown, see if we can't trade him as well. Tyler Croft is probably going to be our leading passer um, outside of Zay Jones, to be honest with you. On defense, again, we have a pretty decent defense. We're looking over here, I mean, it's only 73 overall rating, but Shaq Lawson's out. And obviously that's a pretty big one because Shaq Lawson goes here. Trent Murphy can go in here. Uh, we also lost Harrison as well. Um, and with a bunch of upgrades here because we're going to get, um, sorry, not Shaq Lawson being out with uh, Harrison Phillips. Shaq Lawson's right here. See if we can't upgrade these guys. What else do we got here? Let's take a look at the practice squad. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of. Can we get rid of any of these guys? I'd love to get rid of them. Yeah, Elijah Holder. Let's get rid of him. Let's clean up our practice squad. There's so many wide receivers, and I feel like we don't really need a lot. Um, David Williams. We'll get rid of him. And who else can we get rid of? Steven Roberts, 60 overall. Nothing. There we go. Another tight end. That's not what we want, so we'll get rid of him. And again, so these are only these are mostly just going to be guys that you can um, you know slowly upgrade, but maybe they become 70s, and uh, that that's actually pretty important if you can make them slowly without having to play put them in your lineup. But um, I just want to make sure there's not any wasted spots. Yeah, 22 is only 61. No, we'll get rid of Quadri Henderson. And who else? one as well cam phillips that's the last one sorry guys so we got a, our practice squads looking pretty lit to be honest with you as long as they don't get stolen that would be not very good uh 20 yard ola bc johnson and then let's look at practice squad eligible qbs let's take a look at halfbacks nothing in halfbacks fullbacks nothing wide receivers nope tight ends nope tackles nope Aaron Evans nope anything over 60 would be nice but it looks like we're all under 60 here Jacob Martin yeah let's add him to the practice squad sign a practice squad for sure um, any other gems in here nope nope Darius Jackson I need oh, love a good right outside linebacker oh my god let's go that works perfectly, because our that might be better than almost better than what we have now. All right, and then corners, any corners? No free safety. Sean Chandler. Yep. Yeah. So this is all I'm doing here, guys, is just improving my practice squad to make it so that uh, you know at least I can take advantage of all the space I can with the best players possible. You don't have to really do this. This is kind of excessive, but um, you know. You can already get an, I can already get an upgrade for him somehow. I'm not really sure on that, but um, Greg Joseph, 69 overall kicker. Can I throw just throw a kicker on here? We just cut Marcus Bow, but and Quadri Henderson, but they might be who we want to keep. Stephen Roberts, 60 overall, and he fits the scheme. Sure, we got three more spots. Yeah, these are all guys we cut, but and Greg Joseph, a 69 overall kicker. He's only 25 years old. Why not, Chat? Why not? And one more. 22 Quadri Henderson. All right. You know what? Fine. We'll bring him back. So there is our practice squad done. And any injuries, the injuries that we had in the preseason, let's just take a look real quick. Harrison Phillips and Ladrian Waddle. Ladrian Waddle is not going to play for the team, but Harrison Phillips is. So he's a starter. He's only got two more weeks left on it though and yeah that's gonna do it so that's for the preseason and all the roster cuts and our everything going into our first year of the rebuild for our buffalo bills i'm gonna leave that for this video leave your comments uh please on what you think of this uh, what you any ideas you want for my series uh, again i'm this is just gonna last through august a little bit maybe it might go on throughout the year on top of my nhl content but please guys 
don't worry. I'm a full-time NHL content creator. It's just August, and until I have something to report on or something to cover for NHL 20, I'm loving this franchise mode. So let me know if you guys liked it, if you want to see more of it. If not, also let me know. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the content, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. I'll see you guys next time.